With Dia de los Muertos just around the corner, South Valley residents had the opportunity to take part in honoring their loved ones who have passed away. Ofrendas Comunitarias opened October 8th at the Gutierrez Hubble House History and Cultural Center. Muertos y Marigolds, the organization that puts on the annual Marigold Parade, was not able to hold the parade last year or this year, so they opted to create an exhibit where the community could still take part in. It's a community's way of celebrating. Um, and when I say community, it is a tradition borrowed from Mexico. Um, and uh, people that have migrated to New Mexico brought the idea. It's gaining popularity. Um, as people come to understand that it's a celebration of life um, and not a, um, a sad, dead thing, <laughs> which is a misunderstanding, I think. This particular event, we're just pleased to have it uh, as extensive as it is today uh, with many community organizations and local schools coming together to help us um, um, raise awareness about the day and also the other themes of uh, domestic violence and COVID and the deaths associated with both of those and to just honor that those have occurred and uh, we don't want to forget those people. The exhibit features 11 altars honoring different people and causes important to the South Valley residents. Families who lost loved ones to COVID-19 were also able to remember them as part of the exhibit. I was really uh, uh, pleased with one being invited to be, participate that that made me happy and and then also how um, it, it just took a few, a few phone calls and then we have this this particular exhibit um, I think pulls the community into it because of the way it was done and the way it was organized that it's community driven uh, you see the hands-on in every single altar uh, you see uh, that you know that people touched it, real people, people from this community, people from uh, the South Valley. And um, I think that's what's so lively, vibrant, and awesome about it. Guests can visit now until November 13th. Ana Badia, KRQE News 13.